okay. It's the myth for your team. Oh yeah, we're getting sucked into a black hole, yeah! Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, no, we're totally okay. Yeah. Yeah, more mail. So how are you guys doing? I'm doing, I'm doing good. At the top, like at, at at the top at the time of this recording, Disney Illusion Island is coming out tomorrow, which means yeah. Pikmin Four has been out for almost a week. <laughs> I I yeah I saw that it on like when I was like searching for the eShop, uh like the other day I saw that and I was just like, yeah that's that's a thing I kind of forgot it existed. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that, that's kind of like a Metroidvania platformer from what I've seen. I'll pick it up, but not yeah. day one. I, I have it, I, I put it in my watch list because it gives me uh, Rayman Origins vibes. Um, oh yeah, I think you mentioned that. Yeah. So also, also while this is going on, I think I think what I'll just do, I'll just pick a random SNES game and just play it. Or, um, uh, just, or maybe just play um, uh, Paper Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Look who decided to show oh. up! Step right up into the house of Chimp! You ready for something new? Just roll over the enemies up ahead! So, you game or what? Come on, you'll do it, right? Okay, I remember this actually being fairly tricky. Yeah. Alright, let's see if you got what it takes, pal. Grab the rock mushroom over there. If you can get 5,000 points or more, maybe I'll give you a star. Maybe. Okay. It's a nice little uh, bowling minigame. I like that they yeah. did did this with the with Boulder Mario. Like this, yeah. Th this galaxy feels like kind of like your final test with this power up in a way. Yeah. You really can't afford to miss much. Yeah, that's true. It does get it does get a bit strict later. Yeah. Oh, oh God. God. I, 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 mm. at, at, at the very least, I don't think it's like at the point where you have to get a strike every time, but like, no, mo but like, maybe a little bit of the time because I think you're you're making great time. You're making good progress. At yeah, you don't have to get all of these pins or these enemies or whatever. Yeah, all the pins. Yeah, because like it doesn't look, it doesn't even look like you get a bonus getting a strike. Honestly, so you're. Yeah. So I was gonna say. That yeah, you just need to uh, be sure to get oh, yeah, enough yeah. of them. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling that one, fam. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, that no. Uh, well, sorry, gotta kill you. <laughs> Are you gonna do that or? Just have we to oh. do this. Like, oh, not quite there yet. Not quite there at all. Wanna give it one more shot? Okay, at least he doesn't kill you. Yeah. If I... Yeah, yeah. The same dialogue. That, 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 yeah, that, 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 yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah, I think if you like try walking on the blue platforms, the it's just like okay. yeah, just just a yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or that. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I do. I do kind of like that. The, the uh, Mario Wonder basically has like a new version of Rock Rock Mario. Um, Oh yeah! That's like fine. there's that one bit in the trailer it like just looks like Rock Mario from Galaxy 2. What are we talking about? Mario Wonder. No no no, what power up? Uh there's the one bit... that turns Mario into a pink ball. Yeah, th there's like this one part in the trailer where like he's just going he he's just like in a ball or something. Huh. something that power up was horrifying, by the way. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say elephant Mario. No 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 no, that's something else. I mean, we barely know anything about that one. <laughs> oh, jeez. You're pretty much as long as you don't miss these pins. Okay, good. Nice. Hey, there you go. Just, you, you just passed. Yeah. <laughs> what? You got 5,200 points! Well, I gotta acknowledge you as my greatest rival. And I'll give you the star to prove it. Star emoji. Yep. And clap. Look at this background, like, what, what's going on? Like, some weird, like, hellish dome. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to subspace. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Just insert, like, the subspace theme here. Like, secretly, like, just the, like, this random monkey was in, was uh, part of the Great Maze this whole time. 
Signal is taboo in the sky. God. Yeah, one star bit. So, yeah. And now we're the tree. Tree. Yeah, there's, there's there's quite a lot of levels in in, in this world that are like uh, not friendly. <laughs> uh, the, some of these are really gonna put you to the test. I mean, like this is supposed to be the last world, right? It's the last, like, main world. Uh, yeah, yeah, in, in the base game, at Yeah, least. yeah. Like, the... Uh... Mm. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'll talk more about it later, but, like, the... The sec the world S of this game is pretty much this game's equivalent to the Trial Galaxies. And good lord, those, those levels get kind of absurd. Yeah. But it's not 575757. Five, seven, five, you, seven. you mean 97? Nine, 97, nine, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I mean, that's like. This thing, Mario, we like. A, 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 lot, a good chunk of it is fairly, fairly easy. But then, it, like, World 9 just, like, immediately just ramps it up to, like, ridiculous levels. Kind of. Like, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, once again, 9-7. Yeah. Why is that level that hard? Yeah. I, I feel like... I don't... I feel like it would have... I, I would be more okay with that level if the the game felt like it was building up to it better. Because like, it just it just kind of feels like a random difficulty spike. Yeah. I, it's, I, I, yeah, I, it's, it's just like it, it, it's just like here's a bunch of frozen um, piranha thingies, and also a bunch of fire bros that'll thaw them out. Yeah. Good luck, lol. <laughs> I, I'm not opposed to like a final special world or anything that's like super hard, but oh well, yeah, you have, well, I thought you have a fire flower too. Hope you don't, well, hope you don't fuck yourself over. Yeah. I, ju yeah, I, ju I just, I just, I just don't think Mario Wii, uh, like, leads into it very well. Speaking of which, I figure we, we talked about Wonder earlier. Wasn't it like somebody said that like supposedly Wonder that she could be kind of hard? That's that I don't well, know. That's if, hard. Like that, 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 that's what's that, that's what apparently what some playtesters have been saying. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. Like uh, like Nintendo internally like are calling it the next Mario Three in terms of like difficulty for two D Mario, which we'll see. Yeah. We'll see when yeah, we'll, we'll see, see, we'll see when we see, like when it comes out. We'll see for ourselves. But um. Also, I, I, I'm, I'm not. It, it would be nice to have like a, uh, a like a hey, I, don't mind I don't mind a harder Mario. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I think, like, obviously, like, it's, you don't want to alienate the, the casual audience. So I think, I think it would be it would be like good if they had, uh, like items that you can buy in shops that like make things easier or like just an easy mode in general. Something like, how, like how like Tropical Freeze Switch does it. Uh, I think that would be a yeah. good thing, like a good balance of things. So like Mario Wonder with new funky mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah right. So I, I, cause I, you know, I, I like funky it. Mode for the game that just came out for the first time. Yeah right. Cause I like um a new, what is it? I, I like it. I like oh, challenging. God. I like challenging my Mario game. But I know that like not everyone's gonna be in for like a super difficult time. So like. Some kind of compromise would be would be good. Yeah. It's like, 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 new, new, like, like a new, new Toadette mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, like even. Oh nice. Uh, yeah, I I struggle a lot with Mario Three, so this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I I I don't. I honestly say that Mario Three is marginally harder than Lost Levels. Not by much, but it's up there. Really? Do you actually think, actually think Lost Levels is easier? Actually, wait, no, no, scratch that up and wait around. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? I yeah, that bit, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I will say this though, I don't... I don't think the difference is that high, but like, the, I think the difference is that Mario 3 feels more fair, whereas Lost Levels just yeah. feels like... <laughs> bollocks. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, at least the, like the challenge is more fair in Mario 3 compared to Lost Levels. Uh, oh, another 
up to feed. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, with it, oh, with it now. Oh, I should have oh. one of these. Looks like our latest edition wants to have a word with you, Captain. Looks like you just gamble more. Yep. Yeah. By the way, I hate to put a timer on you, but um, uh, I need to do something in a few hours. Oh, uh, well, we're not doing- we're, we're not- definitely not gonna be recording for more than, like, like, two hours. <laughs> and even then. Two hours. Two hours. Uh, we are definitely- yeah, we are definitely not recording for three hours. I'd- I'd be, like, a zombie by then. <laughs> but yeah, I- I guess we'll see, because, uh, you know, Lu Luigi U was, like, I haven't played that in a long time, so- my opinion on that is kind of non-existent at the moment, but um, I remember that game being like, like pretty hard, but in a like a like a fun like fair way. So if it's something, if Mario Wonder is like si like something similar to that, I'd be totally down with it. But obviously, I I'm not expecting like Donkey Kong Country levels of difficult uh, or like so anything like that, but like just something to make you. Um, pay a bit more attention to what you're doing, I guess. Yeah, cause I, cause, cause, cause I like the challenge as long as it's fair. Yeah. Well, so this is just a really fun level. Um, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I actually really, I love the moment, like, theme is really, it's really tough. I like the theme a lot. Oh, the theme as well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, like, this, like, this, like, they straight up ported this in, in Smash, Ult Smash 4. No, no, no. Not Smash 4, Smash Ultimate. Because this, was, this wasn't in yeah. Smash 4. They, 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 yeah, it was just, they ported this in Smash Ultimate when they brought back to Mario Galaxy stage. Is it Gal is it Smash 4 or Ultimate that brought in the Mario Galaxy 1 credits theme? Uh, Smash 4. Okay, because that's... That always felt really weird to me, like having a, like, a credits theme like that in a fighting game. It just doesn't really feel right. Yeah. Like that... It's like some themes just aren't fit for a game like that. They're good. They're good themes on their own, but in the context of a fighting game, no. Yeah, no. Hey, I, 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 oh, man. I thought I jumped. Yeah, Midless, Midless Lament, uh, like, like smiles and tears, like it. I, th those, they're they're really good themes on their own, but like, not in that, not in that kind of setting. I mean, the Smash Ultimate, re the Smash Ultimate remix is much better, at least. For Mid Midless Lament. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Midless, for Midless yeah. Lament. True. At least, at least. At least they, at least they made like battle ver. At least they made like new versions of it for different contexts. <laughs> yeah, and then they remixed uh, Mulgaro's theme, and it's like way worse. <laughs> I mean, maybe not way <laughs> worse, but like it's not as good. Yeah, but it doesn't have a. It doesn't have the maracas. It doesn't have. It doesn't have the chicka chicka guy. Yeah, yeah that's all I was missing. Mean, meanwhile, um, uh, oh, what's geez. it called? Environmental uh, noises. Hey. No, no, no. Hyrule um, uh, Warriors Legends and uh, for the Phantom Edition has like it too. It's way better. Mm -hmm. Remember in the Wind and Earth Temple, <laughs> it just does Mulgara's theme. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we got this place and we got Hungry Luma. This is kind of. Uh, all this, this all you know, by the way, I have to stop. Wait, what? If we have to stop at like doing or I'll let you know. Okay. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say th this Hungry Luma is a little bit of an outlier in the game because. Well, b between both Galaxy games, really, because this is the only time where this. Uh, this uh, Gives you access to the uh, two galaxies instead of instead of one because um, it's gonna okay so it's gonna just make one galaxy appear now but then when we do that it's gonna lead to another one and you can't get to that second galaxy any other way so hmm. it's kind well, of we all know what the galaxy we're waiting for <laughs> yeah oh of course all right so clockwork ruins or flash black. Um, I mean that's <laughs> we're, right here, right, we're right here right now, so yeah, I guess this is just one of those singles. This is just one of those singles, right? Um, I think there's a comet here.
Oh boy, I've heard this one now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna take a oh, while. Oh yeah, 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 I think this is like a rhythm. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah so what, this is one of the music based levels. Yeah, it's, uh... Reusing the, uh... Like, the beat using, block one. Yeah, using the beat block. Oh, good. Uh, using the beat block theme in a in a different context. Yeah, love what at you least, can't see. At, 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 at least, at least there's no double time. At least there's no double time one for this. Could could you imagine the epilepsy from oh, this? Yeah, no, that. I. <laughs> in terms of visibility, that would arguably arguably make it easier because it's like um, you can. It's gonna make you. I am. I am. It's gonna make yeah, I guess you, you can see it more often. You, you see it more often, but it'll like kill your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Like screw that. It's like the uh what is it? The 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 okay. The the visual uh things in the 8-bit Rayman Legends music stages, like even like that alone is like too much for some people. It, wait, oh no, that one where it gets like more pixelated. <laughs> yeah. I'm here, just have to be muted because, well, boom. <laughs> I love, and like, the more pixel it gets, the more it looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, and like, the last thing Oh about... no, no, you know what it is? The, the second one, where once the color comes back in the, um, uh, in the, 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 the Sabiti one? Yeah. The or or yeah, orchestra one, it's like, it's like it feels like, it looks so much vibrant. <laughs> okay, that made no sense right now, but I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, the worst thing about those stages is uh, when you have to edit it because when I, I remember when we did uh, Legends, which was like several years ago now. Jeez. Oh, that's like super fucking blurry. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it like it kind of just crapped on the frame rate, so I had to re-record it. <laughs> oh. Oof. Like, like the I don't have the original footage anymore for obvious reasons, but like. It basically just run. It just it basically ran at like five frames a second. I I, I couldn't keep it. Oh, this is gonna be <laughs> fun with the comet later. Burb, burb. Oh yeah. Also, like um, I I almost forgot the Oracle the, the, the Zelda Oracle games got recently added to NSL, so that should also date this quite a bit. Yep. <laughs> I, I yeah. I don't know when this is gonna gonna go up. Like, uh, <laughs> the first episode hasn't like even been uploaded yet, so it's like. Well, what are you uploading right now? Uh, are you uploading um the like Ray Rayman the Rayman one at the moment? Oh yeah, Rayman and uh, Frontiers. That's still going up. Uh, and we're doing and we're doing uh, and we're doing uh, Sly at Sly Two after this game, right? After this game? No, we're doing two D stuff for a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. It's the next. I think it's the next 3D game we're doing. But... Hmm. Yeah, this is the second level I was talking about. It's also kind of. I guess if you're doing like an any percent run of this game, this, the this hungry loomer is like your better like option because like you you skip out on a lot of stuff and the that over yeah. there. That over there is the gate to Bowser, I guess. Might as well just clear, uh, clear these out now. Uh. Before we get before we get to the level that we all want to see. Yeah. Good things happen to those who wait. That is true. <laughs> I do like this level though. It's just kind of a nice, like. Glad you're waiting for limited run games. That takes forever. Yes. Yeah. This is oh a, this is a nice I, little chill I, level. I can't wait. To, oh boy, I can't, I can't wait to pre-order my GBA copy of Shantae Advance and then wait for like I don't know a year and a half before it actually shows up. Yep. Oh. What is it? Is it, is it just a game? Just a random choice thing, I guess. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Right. All right, uh, Jason, give me a box. Oh, chest. I I'm feeling confident in in the top middle. No. Fuck. Oop. All right, Xavier. I'm a failure. Xavier, go. Um, let me see. Um, my gotcha luck is that bad lately. <laughs> let me see. Um, uh, middle left. Oh. No. Well. 
They can't all be winners. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh no, he pulled the common blades. <laughs> imagine, imagine, Man. imagine if that was like the secret star and it was completely RNG based. Yeah. Be like ruined. Like, anyway. Nice. Killed by bats. Sorry, I had a brick. Yeah, it just. See, grab a shell. Oh, did you guys also hear that Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2 got announced? Yeah, yeah, we were talking about that in the in the chat earlier. Uh... Well, it definitely look. It looks like it definitely got a graphic upgrade. <laughs> yeah, the game. The game looks like it has a month. It has a budget now. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know. I. I'm surprised they're doing that, honestly. <laughs> I honestly, I feel like it's too soon. Like, I feel like the first game came out like too, like. I don't think there's been enough of, of a time gap, but like, I feel like they could have should have waited a bit because I uh eh. Yeah, I, I say that right that just showed you how utterly slow developers are now for most quote unquote triple A games. Yeah. <laughs> Two years between I mean, sequels you speed a norm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, mean, Harry, I, you, I, I guess. mean Harry, you say Harry, you say that but like um you say that now, but um how long has it been since the last how how long how long of a gap has it been since like Nickelodeon kart racers, because I feel like those were like every two years. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I get. I guess for me, like, I've got, like, the the first game just didn't leave much of an impression, and like, I'm still. Well, you're, well, you're not a Nickelodeon person to begin with. Well, no, but like it, like I don't know. I just feel kind of eh about the whole thing. Well, I'm definitely interested in it. I'm definitely interested in it because, like, it it because it, it looks it looks better. And I mean, we got Squidward and Jimmy Neutron in it. That immediately makes the game a ten out of ten. Yeah, because like the fact that the trailer just opens up with gameplay footage of the first game when we see Squidward looking out from his window. It does the meme? Yeah. Does the meme? Yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah, it does. Also, I I love this bit here. Like, you just go out and then... Oh, hello. Look at that. Yeah, like... That's beautiful. Ah, uh, yes. The sun. And I'll get rid of your shell and make you waste it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like, basically... Th 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 like, basically, Thanos, af Thanos basically after he erased half the universe and is just looking out, <laughs> looking at the horizon. Pretty much. <laughs> Also, hi, Captain Toad. Yeah. I'm not doing a Toad voice. <laughs> Howard. Hey, to me! What? Oh, okay. Well, fuck you too, Mario! Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. There's two to me so I can get the hell out of here. I'm already soaking wet! And I know what I said. <laughs> I should really learn to not keep my headphones unplugged. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I, I I do I do I do hope the game does well. I just I'm just not really interested. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think interest will really increase within two years' time. Yeah, like to me, it, it basically feels like if uh, Splatoon three came out like a year after Splatoon two. Splatoon one and two had a two-year gap though. Did it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Cause yeah, Splatoon, cause the norm people. yeah, cause yeah, Spl Splatoon what 1 was 2015. Was it? Yeah, Splatoon 1 came out in 2015. Huh. Really? That doesn't sound right. I thought it was tw wait. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Splatoon, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll look it up. Cause I'm pretty sure it's 2015. May 2013, yeah. July 2017 for the sequel. Yeah, at... Yeah, as as as, as Splatoon, since Splatoon three came out like last year, right? Well, that was like a that was like was it like five year gap? So yeah, five year gap. All right, this I'm not sure how, <laughs> how this is gonna go. Huh. He just need to kill all the enemies? Yeah. 
At least they gave you plenty of time to do that. Yeah, the problem is you can't see. <laughs> Really wish you had a star or something. <laughs> that would be nice. It's like the one romp challenge that doesn't have one. It feels more, it doesn't feel more like a jump on the thing enemies is faster kind of situation. Yeah. If it wasn't if it wasn't for the fact that you can't really see much of the levels, then yeah, I could definitely see that being the case. Yeah. It feels more like for a, sure. that, To me it gives the idea of like trying to bounce on them in succession. <laughs> well, I mean I you're already messed up. Uh, I think you're already messed up. Yeah, I mean, I I would like to bounce on them more, but like I can't see. <laughs> and like they they could always like pelt me out of the sky. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Hurry up! Hurry up! Yeah. Oh! Damn it! Oh, so no! close. Mother F. Motherfucker! What are the crystals for, just to give you an idea where the ground is? I guess? I don't know, that, I, I guess that is like a fair point though, like, the, the fact that like, sequels come out, um, and like, a lot less frequently nowadays, like, has kind of, what mess with, my perception of like when, like, things come out. Right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Pardon me. Like, I don't know. It like, I guess the, what I, I guess what the the way uh, I I'm <laughs> seeing seeing things is that, like. Uh, it, feel, it feels like Nickel Star Brawl 2 just feels like what the first game should have been. Oh, hey. Uh, and it doesn't really, it doesn't really, oh, feel, it doesn't really feel like a, like a sequel to me. I mean, that's how professional game develop, not game developers, pro, professional critics <laughs> treat a lot of fighting game sequels. Exactly. Yeah, that was good that I found him. Uh, wait, what were you saying, Scrappy? Some professional game critics treat fighting game, I guess, entries in the same franchise as kind of interchangeable to some degree as well. I guess. I, I... And it's kind of hard for me to be excited for something like that, though. Like, if it's not... If it, if the next game doesn't have, like, substantial changes or, like, it has, like, a specific gimmick or, uh, like, additional features like I don't know if it doesn't have like enough to make it stand out then it's kind of hard for me to have much interest if that makes sense I mean they're improving the graphics probably going to improve the animations updating the stages adding more characters apparently there's some kind of single player content or campaign rather yeah, yeah that's, it was... that's about the standard for a fighting game these days I'm not at that point it's up to you well, by the way, I guess I, yeah, I guess I'm gonna say Nickel Star Brawl One's case is at this point it's gonna. I think it feels like it feels more like Nick was seeing if they would if people are even interested in this. Right, because I know they had yeah. like a really small budget. Yeah. Right, yeah, and but now that, right, and consider yeah, considering uh, like how well did it sell? I don't know. Uh, I'll look that up right now. Oh, I remember this level. Um, somebody modded this into into a full place in a in a Mario Odyssey. <laughs> oh, cool! Oh, cool! That's nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess like for me, oh, like I I, I, I was the cool thing was once you actually beat the galaxy oh, and nice. did a thing, um, they actually removed all of the the planes or all the the invisible walls, so that you can pretty much get anywhere. Hmm. Oh, that, that's actually a, a, a point uh, I want to... Okay, before, before I bring up, the, I guess I guess for me with Nickel Stubble, I was, like, legitimately interested in it when it, like, got, like, announced, but I don't know, just seeing in the, the state it got released in kind of just killed a lot of my interest, and that feeling just hasn't really recovered, so I, it's, like, it's too soon for me to really be excited for the, at, at the notion of a sequel. But that's just me. The Wikipedia is not messing the sales numbers for the game. Nah. 
Jeez. I can imagine I got at least something decent. Yeah. I it imagine was at least nominated. It was at the very least nominated. It was, it was at least nominated for best fighting game at the Game Awards and fighting game of the year at the Dice Awards. It didn't mm. win either. Well, at least, well, I can imagine it like sold pretty well because it's Nickelodeon. Yeah. Well, because like normally you think of like yeah. game mills though, that because I because I think they usually just kind of like a most of the time their games are just kind of shovelary. Right. But yeah. I, yeah. I. I, I I, I do I do genuinely mean it when I say I I do hope the game like does well I like e even if I'm like indifferent towards it that doesn't mean I want it to fail. Right. Uh, you only like or hate things, Harry. Indifference is. Evil, yeah, that, that, I think. That, that, that that's how the that's how the internet operates. Like if you don't love absolutely everything about a thing. Uh, then you then you hate its guts and you like think it's terrible. <laughs> like that's that's the world we live in nowadays, and I hate it. <laughs> I mean, nowadays it's been the status quo since for as long as I've been alive. Well, it, it feels it it feels like it's like it, it feels like it just gets worse and worse. Because we have social media to show a shining magnifying glass on the horrors of humanity. Yeah. It's like, uh, like, for example, like we brought it up earlier, um, but like Mario Wii, like, I, like we all know, like I have like some issues with that game, but as it's like, as a game itself, like Mario Wii is a lot of fun, like it's a great game, like just because I have issues with it doesn't mean I hate it. Same. What have I said to multiple times? Mario fans are spoiled and don't know what they have sometimes. Yeah. It's like... Oh, wait. Oh, right, I need to hit switch. Yeah, I wasn't below you. You hit your console? Thank you. Uh, hey, it... switch. Not his. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a pretty cool level, though. I like the, uh, like, kind of clock theme, I guess, going on. Yeah. Oh, right, the head. What's that? Yeah, I was gonna say there, there's a um, there's a video out there, um, like basically asking the question like, oh, is like Mario Galaxy a good Mario game or something? And it talks about how um, the the guy feels like it doesn't. What is it? The Galaxy games don't um, uh, flesh out their ideas enough, and it should have been like a sandbox game. Which I, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I completely uh. I completely disagree with that notion. Uh, I don't think I, I I'm not I wouldn't be opposed to like them going back to the galaxy style and like trying it to be more open world or whatever. But I don't think like as it is in how it plays in Galaxy One and Two specifically, I really don't think this style works as a sandbox. You and I were talking about it in DMs earlier. It's just like how this, how different this game is control-wise. <laughs> yeah, like these games are built with like linear platforming challenges in mind. Oops. They're slower paced as well. Yeah, and um, the the general like s skill ceiling is a lot lower than like 64 and Sunshine, like Sunshine especially, because like, when you see speedruns of Sunshine, people do like crazy stuff. And like you can do some cool like speed tech in these two games, but it's a lot less uh, pronounced. Mm. And uh, I don't know. I feel like the it, it's not necessarily a good or a bad thing. It's just different. The games are just prioritizing different things. Like when, when you when you're like going across a big open space, one of your game design like philosophies should be that it just feels good to explore. Um, and like Galaxy just doesn't need to focus on that as much. Yeah. Uh. I don't know what um, you, what'd you guys think. I mean potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would say I was going downstairs to get some nachos. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely. Lovely, everything you said were in verbatim. I. I in Swahili. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, uh... 
If only you could tell. Uh, oh, maybe you should say it again. If only you spoke Hovitos. Mm. Oops. Yeah, folks, I have my headphones plugged out because, again, I'm eating. Uh, <laughs> again, it just sounds like no disrespect to the person who made the video in question, but it just, does just feel kind of a. I won't say rehash, but. Relitigation of the linear versus non-linear debate in the Mario community. I'm like, the Galaxy games are, as Harry said, are just they're going for a specific feel, and I don't right. like experimenting with a more open style could work. And I you know, don't doubt Nintendo. I don't doubt Nintendo's ability to make it work, but they are fine as they are. Like, yeah. So I think I the. I think the idea the the guy had with like a sandbox galaxy game is like imagine having like the flying Mario power up and you like fly between the the planets yourself, uh, which that I wouldn't mind something like that, but I'm not sure the Wii would be able to do something like that super well. I don't know. Also, yeah. um, that could work, but I mean it's like we don't like. Maybe it would have been less of an issue during the time of seventh, seventh generation, but I think people forget how long non-linear games take to develop. Yeah. Yeah, and consider and, and considering the Wii and considering the heart the Wii's hardware is literally just two GameCubes taped together. Yeah, yeah. Like compared the the amount of levels in the the the, the two Galaxy games compared to like sixty four Sunshine or Odyssey, like there's it's like. The difference is night and day. Yeah, because they got cause they, they have to make those levels to be able to fit within the cons within the memory of the yeah. cartridge as well as for the console to actually run it. Yeah, yeah, and like, like Sunshine only has like what seven or eight like main levels compared to like this game, which which has like nearly fifty or something. All right, I will, I will go to bat for sunshine in one case it was a victim of circumstance but that is true but that uh, said, the, the point the point that said it would still have fewer levels in the galaxy games yeah yeah the, the point the point is like like six i guess 64 is more it's more of a better example because like that like it has 15 regular courses and like the several secret star levels whatever which is a lot but it's Nowhere near as much as the Galaxy games, or or even like Three D World or whatever. Oh, this one. Right. I don't even remember how many levels are in Odyssey, to be honest. 